Welcome back to Balan Wonder World. So now it's time for chapter. Yeah, at this point I hey, stopped Joe. bothering. You fed your gems well? No. I was about to get into that, actually. <laughs> At this point in the game, Jova, I stopped bothering with the Tims because, to be quite frank with you, Jova, I grow tired of this. But Pedro, the Tower of Tims, it's supposed to be so hard. So you're starving your Tims? Don't worry, Jova, that's what- don't worry, Jova, that's what the extra raw is for. Not now, though. Anyway, um... Yeah, the Tower of Tims. You can't even ride the Tower of Tims. That thing doesn't even look pretty. It looks more- it looks like a mouse trap. Like, I don't... <laughs> oh, but don't you see? It's all part of construction. So let's see how long he stays on the wheel. Nope, there you go. See? You see what I mean? Um, it doesn't matter... Uh, uh, wow, Eat your Lumas. No, Joe, no, the, the Deji, don't, don't, don't sully the, don't sully the name of that game by, for, by dragging it into this, please. Why are there thought bubbles cat faces? Why not? You because like cats, don't you? it's supposed to be cute, I guess. But they're not cats. Okay. Oh, chap don't worry. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry, Shiroi. We'll have a little girl with a cat in in chapter six, but uh, not now. That is admittedly one of the better chapters, and it's got a bit of a fun fact because uh, the character of I don't know, Jova. I don't know, Jova. The ending of that chapter has some really questionable implications. It's funny what, you mentioned that because the novel No, no, no. I mean involving Balan. But anyway, chapter 5. The lady filled with avian adoration. Basically a, a, a woman that loves photographing birds in woods. Yeah, this chapter is the, the weird forest level. story-wise. For gameplay purposes, it's basically the forest level. Ah, oh, God. Well, yeah, and of no. course the woman has to be large, of course, because the game is not, this, the game, the game is not done hey, scaring hey. me. Somebody likes hey, hey. giant women. Yeah. Well, Nakasan, no, if you <laughs> they do. <laughs> well, not well, Nakasan, if you're into giant women, that's your business. But uh... you know what? You know what? You know what? To quote Adventure Time and Steven Universe, that's the opposite of a problem. Guardian bird. Oh, All I want to do is see you turn into press a giant woman. What the? What this has been is while you're in jump mid jump, press the button again to throw a tornado at the enemies, and that's all it does. At least the music's good. Yeah, the music is- again, the music is the best thing about this game. Like, uh, Ryu Yamazuki is, uh, from Square Enix is being phenomenally wasted in this crap. Like, like, I, I love his compass- uh, by the way, but he's also doing- uh, by the way, Shirai, um, guess what, guess what Square Enix game is doing next? What? Final Fantasy Origin. The one we commented it on. So, uh, quite a departure from this, wow. am I right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, well, it's just how versatile he is, so... But yeah, okay. You'll see what I mean, but story-wise, this chapter is weird. It's not necessarily one of the bad chapters story-wise. No, 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 no. Not really, it's just your generic. Like chapter 7 or chapter 8. No, 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 chapter 8, I think. No, uh, the, uh, one, the, one, the one that I find the weirdest is uh, the one... I forgot if it's 7 or 8. Uh, the one with the chess champion. That one is just... Yes, the chess champion one, uh, that one is legit terrible. Is it, is it, is it, seven, is it 7 or 8? I forgot. No, uh, I think it's eight because I think seven's like that really good one. Yeah, fun fact, everybody. I j I completed this game recently and already I'm forgetting the orders of the chapters. That's how forgettable this game is. Go on. I can also point out you probably also forgot because the game also plasters them in a weird order all around the stage here and there. Like again, it it's not a, okay. It's a small bit, but am I the one who finds it weird that they decide to place they decide to plaster the levels all over? Like sure one may be placed here, then 2 is at the opposite end, then 3 is next to 1, then 4 is next to 10, and 5 is next to 11, and yeah, what is this, C.S. Lewis? Because Yuji Naka can't count. <laughs> anyway, but the lick shots yeah. Lizard. Hey look, it's Yoshi. But you can't jump. You can't jump, though. Um, th th this was also something I was saying. They, they should just combine these power ups, like the the kangaroo and this, yeah, and whatever that does the stomping thing. Combine into one. It's like, oh, it's just Yoshi. like Yoshi. Who cares? Yeah, <laughs> give basically. The super, sp the super speed ability, combine it with a home attack. Hey, look, it's just like Sonic. Ha ha ha. Yeah, cool. Because this game does feel like a homage to 3D platformers. 
Well, that's kind of what. Worse ways, though. Well, yeah, that's kind of what Naka wanted to do. He wanted to do something akin to what he was doing with something like Billy Hatcher or any of the other. Um, or or okay. Billy Hatcher. Let me put it like this. It's okay. Like it's not okay. great, but it's it, it's uh, it, for the time that it was made, it's fine. Your mileage may vary. A lot of people consider it a classic. Me personally, I'm like, you know what? I'm fine with this existing. That said, you won't exactly see me campaigning for Billy Hatcher to be making a triumphant return. Nah. I didn't exactly shed tears like I did with Knights. No, not really. It's not really. Uh, uh, speaking of Knights, how about that Knights we drain wheel? <laughs> that what? Sorry? Uh, the it Knights turned out to be wheel? a lottery game. Oh, that. Yeah, like it got it, the it was listed. And people were like, oh, wait, is this a new game? Or I was thinking, is this part of like an amusement park ride? No, nope, turned out to be a pachinko machine. Was like, oh. Well, that's not necessarily... I mean, I'm, I'm not even that bothered by it. That's not all too surprising, honestly. I, it's anyway. just one of those... She, this is an IP that hasn't been used since, what, 2008? Yes. And like the best thing you're going to do and, and to attract its relevance is pachinko. Anyway... That's kind of why people... Got annoyed with uh, anyway, Konami the, I mean, for a lot of reasons, but still, that's kind of. Anyway, back to you, Pedro. The Lickshot Lizard, as you saw, uh, basically it, it, it uses its tongue to attach itself to those fruits and, and, fr and uh, draws you to where the fruit is. And again, that's all it does. So here's another problem with this game it doesn't really take into mind also the fact that you can bring other costumes here. Now, yes, you can easily lose those costumes. But let's be honest, as soon as you get to the ice world, you just need one specific costume, and you more or less wreck the level design of this game, which was clearly not made with all the levels for that in mind. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, it is nice that they allow you to, you know, um, experiment and bring other costumes in there, but it really does go into how, again... Unlike something like Mario Odyssey, it doesn't feel like this game always kept the power-ups that well in mind. Which is a shame because there's 80 of these flipping things and they're clearly supposed to be the main selling point of the game. And here's the thing with Odyssey. At, at, at all the power-ups, uh, I mean not the, the capture abilities, they were there. They were mostly situational and they were put in the levels where they belonged. Exactly. Well, that's kind of how typical platforming design is usually usually goes. I mean, yeah, you can argue that um, kind of like something what Johnny, uh, some common Johnny says, where in Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. Free, the pla uh, the, the power ups were much more less were, were much less situation. They were more like extension of Mario's abilities. Um, yes. That being said. Uh, I understand why they went a different route starting with the 3D games because uh, trying to use that approach for a 3D game would be a lot more complicated from a design standpoint. Yes. Um, it, you need like, to for my, every level. I understand. I understand the frustration some people uh, who just want to see Super Mario for the 3D world done in 3D. However, you also have to understand that yeah, that, that, it's a nice thought, but actually putting that into practice in the 3D game is not as simple as it's as as just saying it. That's Bowser's fury. Well, no, Bowser's Fury, I will argue that that's fine. I mean, Bowser's Fury... Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 they finally they finally perfected, like, the whole open world, but y you also get to use the power-ups in 3D. It's like, yeah, that, that's kind of what I wanted. Well, yeah, that's kind of what... Well, free, uh, it's about to be clear that Bowser's Fury is Koizumi's uh, uh, prototype for the proper open world 3D game that he's making next. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that it was meant to test the waters to see what people think of it. <laughs> Again... <laughs> I love how they give you a stupid spinning animation for even when you get hit and have to turn into it. Again, it's so cumbersome. So yeah, this mini boss has a pro has sometimes frozen some flames into his body, meaning you can only attack it uh, when you uh, when he's not flaming. Uh, there are outfits that can you know douse out flames, but you'll not get those until way later, so you can't rely on that kind of thing just yet. Which is weird. You'd think that this costume would be able to blow out the flames with its wind. Uh, that would require versatile design, and this game is not that tight. Even though versatile design in a game that has 80 costumes. I get the daily costumes thing was clearly done to have uh, to have it as a, a selling point on the back of the box. That's the thing. Yuji Naka felt at times like they wouldn't be able to make the eighty quota. So in order to hit that quota, 
they made some costumes that are just blatant ripoffs or downgrades or upgrades of other costumes. Mm -hmm. It's like... They should have just had a handful of really good ones. Quality over quantity, like, yep. we, like we said before. Um... Yeah, also, the, the the NPCs are still dancing, and I still have no idea why. It's to give you a sense of success, Pedro. Thank yes. Well, what you got against yeah. them? Oh, yes. I oh absolutely... Abso oh, yes. Wait, I absolutely... Pedro. Yes, Edge. Did you see that TikTok about... No. Nope. About millennials and Gen Z? No, I, 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 I don't... I don't... singing no. and dancing. I don't watch TikToks. Remember, I'm an old fart who's not really... <laughs> no, I'm showing you right now. I'm not an old <laughs> fart who's, who's in tune with what you guys... Do that on your Twitters and your I don't even look at and, TikTok. and your and, and your All TikToks and your videos that get posted on Twitter from TikTok. So yeah, I'll sh I'll show you right it's now. TikTok kind of pointless. Anyway, it's basically Vine. Yeah, that's uh, anyway. That's just uh, the the thing. Um, the, the 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 game clearly was made uh, with uh, with the intentions of being more like a Banjo Kazooie style of uh, platformer. The problem is that uh, Naka doesn't understand what made those games work. Give me a lot more interest in what you're seeing on screen. I love this music. The music in this game. Um, uh, that's nice, I guess. Um, I've never figured out quite yet what the Tim marker up there for is for. The what? Sorry. The Tim marker that you get at the end of each level. I mean, oh, that. I how you you improve. To be perfectly honest, Jova, neither do I, nor do I care. <laughs> That's this game in a nutshell. It sucks away the ability to care. Cause I kid you not, the more you play of this game, the less you will care. Like, because yeah, that, that, that's another problem with this game as well, actually, that George brings up. This game overstays its welcome quite hard. Twelve chapters is a bit too much. Look, if the gameplay is fun enough and it mixes stuff up in us, by all means, throw to me twelve or thirteen and guess chapters. What? And guess what, Shiro? When you complete this game for the first time, you unlock a third act for every world. Oh, yes, because I wanted that. Because, because that's what I want. More levels to play in here. Like, again, you know, honestly, I always... Okay, even from the, the demo, I thought it was just, you know, for the demo. I thought it was weird that there were two and not three. Well, there you go. They were saving the third act for the post-game. Like, the, having just I... two seems a bit strange in a game like this. And I hate to sound like a broken record because we say this all the time. It, it sucks that this game turned out the way it did. So only how, how many times you've heard that before? Because yeah. it felt like it had potential. Well, yeah. So yeah, and, it's a uh, game made by former Sonic team. That I guess that runs in their DNA. And honestly, Dad, we've seen plenty of companies mess up like this. Either it is. I, I know, but it's always interesting game. whenever it's made by by the by Sonic developers, where they are very ambitious. They have good ideas, but they always <laughs> mess up with the execution. That's the, that's so always the been difference. the big. Hey, here's the difference. I would argue that a lot of the ideas here weren't good. Restricting this game to one button, not a good idea. Making no, that was a costumes, bad idea. That was not a good idea. Like the, Here's the main problem with this game. It was fundamentally broken from the get-go. Mind you, remember, it took a Square Executive's strong-arming Yuji Naka for there to be so much as something like a coherent story, and it was the bare, bare minimum. Yuji Naka even boasted about how he apparently had to do research on how to make a story. Again, the big problem. Again, again, it's one of those things. Uh, well, that's a thing that one of the big problem. One of the one of the big problems that have always been the case with uh, with Sega uh, with Sega veterans was always the fact that they Sega always was always a bit too experimental uh, for their own good a lot of times. Because uh, remember, that's what uh, that's what uh, screwed up a lot of um, the more culture like Shenmue and um, other games that were not done with. Typical conventions. Oh uh, boy, Pedro, you got the hothead. It's it's one of those things where 
they allow it's one of those things they allow their experimental drive to go a bit too wild for their own good instead of having a good balance of surefire hits that are more conventional as well as combining that with more experimental titles they went full experimental and most of their catalog back in the late 90s and early 2000s was so experimental to the point where um it became hard to appeal to a mass audience uh, for them I mean, I'd say Sega's gotten much better now. I don't know. I'm talking about... Yeah. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the late, the, the, how they were in the late 90s and early 2000s. Not saying that, I'm not saying that they didn't make good games back then. I'm just saying that sometimes their experimental drive could get a bit out of hand. Yes. Like, for example, the so, fact that... Like, for example, um, the first Shenmue. I love the first Shenmue, but even I will admit that, uh, yeah, that uh, ability to speed up the clock... In the second game, you probably should have thought of that in the first game. Maybe that would have made people a bit more willing to put up with the game. To be fair, I'm willing to suggest that maybe it had to do with what technology was available. Shenmue 3 has Shenmue no excuses, is just though. basically just showing off well, the power of the Dreamcast. Well, the thing, the thing, about, the thing with Shenmue 3, Jove, is that it's literally a Dreamcast game made in today's day and age, which... I'm fine with personally. I mean that it's literally the Shenmue free we never got back in the early 2000s, and that's fine by me. But yeah, obviously for someone who is not you know heavily invested in Shenmue, yeah, it's definitely going to come and didn't grow up back in those days. Yeah, clearly it's going to be much harder of a pill to swallow. Honestly, even people who are Shenmue veterans were kind oh, no, of annoyed oh, about Shenmue were. free didn't yeah. really improve stuff, and now some argue. Kind of did some things even worse, especially of how much it forces you to literally wait days here and there, or how it constantly plays a cutscene every single time you so much as want to leave or re-enter your house here and there. It doesn't and help the that, uh, who, who's the guy behind the game? You should okay. The thing is, uh... He hasn't played any modern video games at all, so he doesn't know how things have progressed. Yeah, the, so well, well, here's the, well, in that well, here's the, period. well, here's the thing, that's the thing, like, uh... Uh, that's the thing, like, the idea with Shenmue is to simulate life, and that's why exactly, in real life, you don't skip your morning routine, you go through it every day, so that, so yeah, that was the- here's the thing, this is a video game. Oh, yeah, I get that, yeah. Deji, but that's the thing, Yu Suzuki didn't want to just make a simple video game, that was the whole point, he wanted to make a quote-unquote life simulator. Literally, he wanted to make a game that felt like real life, that you were literally living the life of this character. That was the, the whole. Uh, was that that was, uh, again, too, exper too experimental for his own good. By comparison, though, and some of it didn't even feel realistic. Like that bit where you have to do every single thing to learn a special move to take a guy down, and it's pretty much just a simple chop that he could have done without learning all that stuff. Mhm. Mm it depends on how on your on overall people's uh, tastes and preferences for games. A lot. Of, some people like me actually don't mind a game that's not fun in the traditional sense. Um, I'm guessing you like oh, man. Shenmue 3. I don't like fun, Pedro 2021. Actually, I do love fun a lot. It's just that I'm also willing to play a game that's fun in other ways than the traditional meaning of the word fun. That's what I mean. I would argue Shenmue 3 just wasn't fun in either of those ways. It was just way too cumbersome. Again, even compared to Shenmue 1 and 2, like that's my main issue is the fact that in some ways it felt like a downgrade from the Sure, like, sure, sure, that's fine. I mean, I like Shenmue but, 3, uh, but even I will agree that it definitely should have been a bit more up-to-date with modern standards. Now, don't get me wrong, I won't act like Shenmue 3 is, like, terrible or, like, Mighty Number no. 9 levels are bad. Honestly, the bigger uh, problem with me is not even the gameplay. My bigger problem with that game is actually more the story because oh, the, yeah, the story, the, the end, the, the ending is the the I mean, I do like the new town. There are some really cool, memorable citizens in that cool, old-fashioned Shenmue way. The problem is that the actual story progression is next to none. That's that was the problem. Because that uh, was definitely my. I mean, if the game came out, if the, if this game came out back in two thousand three, right after two. It wouldn't have been as much of a big problem, because remember the the storyline for that game was written uh, all the way back in in the late 90s, early 2000s. So, so they were literally using their original script from back. They were literally picking up where they left off. Um, the problem is that game came out over over 15 years later. By that point, yeah, you probably should have done some changes to make the 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 comeback a bit more satisfying than just a filler arc. Yeah. And at the very least, give us a satisfying story about our progression. Like, okay, nobody was really expecting for this to conclude everything. And oh my god, no, she's no. gigantic here. Well, that's, that's the. But, yeah. Uh, uh, remember, Joe, it's like Shiroi said um, this game is under the impression that I love giant women. 
So. Well, you know, that's not bad. Hey, hey, okay, Tom. Okay, see, here, see, here's my problem not with your logic, Naka. How exactly do I uh, have sex with a giant woman? How would that even work? I mean, I don't want to get into the. Oh, the you find a way. Hey, uh, do I? Do I? You have to. Hey, Joe, you have to think creatively with facts yeah, and Yeah, use your imagination, dude. Yeah, I, I, I get the... Okay, okay, okay. Without getting into the graphical details, how would I... How how would it even work when I actually, you know, oh insert, my. insert? How would that even work? It's a bit... Okay, here's what okay. you do. You just climb onto the chest and... There are... Okay. <laughs> 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 the one. Okay. Sex education with Deji. Yes. No, 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 I'll just say this, games like Resident Evil 8 have really poked holes into the theory that the movie Tall Girls suggested that people hate tall girls. Jova, Jova, there was never any point, any doubt that people ever, like, th th this whole, th I still call bullshit on that movie's stupid idea that tall people get bullied, because in my experience, tall people were always the cool kids. So, Not only that, but excuse me, one, what, I am 6'1", no, 6'2", I'm you not... can reach things the rest of us can't. Yeah, and people <laughs> and people want me to like, hey, can you do this? Yeah, you ever work oh, in customer oh, well, service? Well, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, 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 yeah, Deji, yeah, you, you're yeah, De Deji. just over five foot. Okay. Deji, 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 okay. Deji. That means I people. Work. Deji, that okay, means Deji. people think you're helpful. That's a good thing. Yes, it is. Allow me to explain, Deji. There's a movie called Tall Girl where the dilemma of that film is. <gasps> A girl feels that she's ostracized because of her height. Uh, and I kid you not dead. The way the movie opens is her saying, Wow, you think your life's bad? Well, I'm a girl wearing men's size 10 and I'm so tall. Mind you, a hot Caucasian white girl is suggesting that her life is terrible compared to people who have to suffer from stuff like, oh being disgraced for sexuality, being disgraced for race, because she's tall. And that movie will suggest that a tall girl has absolutely no one, no one who's in love with her, because she's supposedly a freak. Uh -huh. Okay, look, I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm not going to defend this movie, but there are some guys who are cowards, and uh, I, I won't date a girl because they're, because they're taller than her. Oh, exactly. I... No, that, that is actually cowards. a thing. Really? I yes, don't. It is. I don't even. I don't yes. even. Under, I don't even understand that logic, to be Joe honest with you. Masculinity. I guess it's just that, that like. Is, I, however, I, I, however, I did the way the movie presents it is just everyone making fun of her, as opposed to people being scared of her. On, on, honestly, honestly, if, if Vanessa was taller, um, my idea would just be to, you know, proudly introduce her as my wife and uh, say, have you, have you met my wife? Like, uh, and, uh, and consider how impressive she would look as a result, I would be even more proud, so I don't really understand that logic, to be honest. You're, you're smarter than those men, but seriously though, like, again, basically, Tall Girl might as well be called First World Problems the Movie. It's just stupid. The point, anyway... Um, the person per per is the protagonist white. Yeah, yes. it's 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 this thing. Okay, never never mind. It, but, no, <laughs> but yeah, back to my earlier point. Well, what I mean, Dej, is that like I'm I'm a guy who loves fun, like Super Mario Odyssey, or, or as much as the next guy. However, uh, I also really like unconventionally designed games that try to go for a different experience than your traditional uh, video game because it's an int I find I find games like those interesting when they're pulled yeah. off well like for example a lot of people like for example some people might find Death Stranding's gameplay boring I actually really like it I actually do really enjoy the the immersive way that game makes me feel like I'm literally carrying packages and um, and it's an interesting uh, sense uh, to put it for and I'm looking forward to the director's cut because the dual sense was gonna be perfect for that game but anyway I, I mean look I like the wonderful 101 some people can't get into it because of the unorthodox control scheme but I enjoyed it I, I, I need to go back and beat it but the reason why I dropped those because one it overheated my switch at one point
Anyway, so Min Min came out. All right, storyline. Yeah. Okay, this chapter is a bit weird. It's not okay, bad. Well, well this is about an, to see what this is mean. just your stereotypical environmental message type storyline, as you're about to see. Kinda. It's it's both how the problem is presented and how it's solved. Also, she's apparently also, watching. For some reason, the birds are shown as toys. I don't get that. But then man shows up and destroys all the trees to put on buildings. So my point is like, oh, well, I guess this caused her to have mental issues, which were. She loves birds so much that the idea that she will not be able to watch birds and, and suddenly photograph- suddenly a demon bird comes about? What? Well, well remember, Joe, the demon bird is supposed to be a manifestation of her um, mental um, stress you slash know, problem I, slash whatever, you know? Guys, I hate to be rude, but for, for people that are on the internet and see a lot of people overreact over incredibly stupid things, that's pretty normal. Yeah, this is- this is- <laughs> Well, no, no, like, I think, I think the issue is that uh, the dilemma could have been conveyed better. I think that's the best way I can put it. Like, uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like the cutscene was a bit too, went by a bit too fast. Didn't really allow you to absorb. Um, this is a problem with a lot of the cutscenes, honestly. Like, even when they do have a good story to tell, they don't always tell well. For example, again, let us refer to chapter three. A girl who's ostracized because of her liking of bugs. Okay, fine, but you're seriously gonna tell me that no other kid in school likes bugs? Like something, maybe they yeah, do, or something maybe that they do, but they don't want to be associated with <laughs> some freak. Like I said, like I said, me and Shiroi okay. um, find that unbelievable. Well so, uh, anyway, this boss. This boss uh, throws boxes at you, and when it throws boxes at you, you have to destroy the box uh, before it um, goes away. Um, oh no, you're fighting a UPS delivery service. The problem is that because you move so slow, you may not be able to clear the attacks as well. Like, oh, yeah, I, you technically I don't think move you guys slightly. Know what UPS is. Uh, I, I, what actually, UPS I do. I owe the stuff from America, so I do know what UPS is. Okay. Not okay. just not just that. I've seen plenty of uh, American media reference it anyway. I, I know what it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, the problem is like, well, yes, you do move faster than in the demo, but only so slightly. You still don't. Fighting a lot of these attacks is a bit of a pain. Mm hmm. Basically. But, uh, yeah. Here's um, what you do like so destroy the box, and then she hurts herself with her tongue. I don't get that. Yeah, what I play Mario. Yeah, yeah, basically. This game I is really basically a poor man. Uh, uh, this game is both a poor man's banjo, because we're in the poor man's Mario. So it's DK64. Oh, yeah. Don't you even dare. Donkey Kong 64, even you have to admit Donkey Kong 64 is a far better game than this one. At least Donkey Kong 64 oh, fucking way works. Better. Jesus Christ. Like, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Here's another, that's, another, that's another game that's uh, that I enjoy that other people don't. There's another one. There you go. Hey, well, Pedro, okay. that was the first it... game I owned for my Nintendo 64, so I have a soft spot for it. Sure, I sure, sure. It, but there are just when some. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that the game does not have issues. It's just that I think a lot of people uh, don't give that game any credit for what it does well. That's basically my point. <clears throat> if I may, from what I've seen, it's not like most people even hate that game. It's just that most people are annoyed by the completion requirement. Yes, like, because okay. it's a rare problem. I don't know if you guys saw the completionists' recent um, re uh, review, sort of, kind of. It's like a Crash Bandicoot 4. It's a it's a remarkably fun game to play, but I'd argue it's a bad game to complete. Yeah, I, I can agree. I can, I can agree with that. I don't mind it much, but I can agree with that. Yeah. And completing a game is always something I consider to be part of a game. I mean, I'm like I like heroes, but I'm pretty sure most people don't. Oh no, no, it's the same thing here. I like I like heroes too, but I, uh, even we have to admit, Shiroi, that game is pretty flawed. Oh, okay, no, it is. I don't just... care, though. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Seriously, I can't get over her every time it looks like they're about to get into a duet with how I think, the um, person you freed holds out their hand the... like they want to dance romantically with the child. It's Here's like, the bit. No, you're, you're too old for them. Also, look at the way she's animated. The woman, I mean. She looks like a, she looks just being, she's a marionette. Uh, just look at the way she moves. Ugh, so freaky. And again, mind you, this only makes sense with Leo, who we've seen is established to dance with. Emma, 
She just look at that. Out look at nowhere. that. See, look at that. The, the way she moves is so unnatural. Okay, so let's see what mental issues are dancing skills. So, Sheila, a question. Time. What's the solution for men destroying trees? Is she gonna plant more trees? Well, Watch. that too, but that's not all. She's gonna talk to the construction people. Here's what you do construct the buildings around the trees. And they're like, duh, I couldn't, I couldn't think of that. Yeah, because, okay. you know, that, that's how it works. You know, if it was that easy, why didn't she just talk to them in the first place? And again, the birds are presented as toys for some reason in this one. Like, that's another thing. Well, my work we, here is done. You we did didn't not do me. anything. Well, bye. But yeah, seriously, though, <laughs> uh, one thing about these cutscenes also is like, well, the logic in some of these cutscenes doesn't fly as well. Like, for instance, here, the birds are shown as toys, but in other cutscenes, they're shown as regular birds. In some bouts, other characters are shown as toy pegs, but in other bouts, it's just, you know, actual human beings. Yeah, uh, basically. When, even the cutscenes feel inconsistent in their logic, and that doesn't help this game. As uh, for her reaction, though, like, I'm guessing it was just, you know, just her immediate response, mm -hmm. you know, because, like, her talking to the construction people, like, from what I get, it clearly happened only a few minutes after yeah. all this oh, started. Oh, but Puri, the best is yet to come because I looked it up, Pedro. Chapter 7 is the champion who struck out. Brilliant. I love... Brilliant. Uh, uh, I, I, the sooner we get together, I'm going to be better because I, I, find the, I, I find the ending of Chapter 7... This game. I find the ending of Chapter 7 hilariously misguided. Hilariously. <laughs> But anyway, but I'm not going to say... Ending, I consider both the beginning and ending was incredible. Well, I will argue the beginning is fine. It's just that the end, the way it resolutes is the problem. But anyway, to end my point about heroes... Okay, so here's the thing about Sonic Heroes. The thing about Sonic Heroes is that it... Like, like you see, for example, someone like... It's some not a good game, yes. It's, uh, yes, I agree. That's, that's, uh, that's, 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 finish, that's, please? That's, let Pedro finish. Um, no comments from the peanut gallery, please. <laughs> Um, see, the thing about Sonic Heroes, it, like, like you demonstrated, like, someone like some Call Me Johnny who prizes precise controls a lot is probably going to struggle with that game because, let's face it, that game has v controls that are too slippery for their own good. Um, you, you, can, you, can get, you can get used to them, but yeah, the controls are definitely a downgrade from Adventure 1 and Adventure 2. Um, it, they're way too slippery, and it depends on how well you, how good you are at tolerating slippery controls. Um, I'm, I'm reasonably good at that, but yeah, someone who's not as good at adapting is gonna have trouble, definitely, and probably not really enjoy the game. Which is why some people, some people like some Call Me Johnny don't, 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 some Call Me Johnny even mentioned that. I want to love Sonic Heroes, but the control, and I can understand that. Some, not everybody is capable of adjusting to slippery controls. So. It ain't, I wish the controls were the main issue. Oh, there are but other but issues. You would, but you would and love to hear a full in-depth response to how I feel about Sonic Heroes. Just look at my <laughs> channel, bluezonecom.com slash YouTube. Shameless plug. Indeed. Yes. See you next part. See ya.